So my name is Robert Leake. I'm the head of the commercial sales team at Quantum Systems. So the Trinity Pro is our fourth generation Trinity product. It's been the culmination of years and years of development and learnings from our end customers all around the world. It is an extremely robust and performant drone with some of the best specifications in the industry. It can fly for up to 90 minutes. It can handle strong winds of up to 12 meters per second on takeoff and landing, and even as much as 18 meters per second during the actual normal flight. It's IP rated, it's able to fly at extremely high altitudes. Basically, we tried to make as close to a bulletproof drone as we could, while still maintaining the, the lightweight design that enables us to be a, a safe operation tool and to be able to carry all of the, the, the heavy and large payloads that we want for our customers to be able to use. So on the Trinity Pro, we have two LiDAR options available. We have the Cube 240 and the Cube 640. The Cube 240 we've had on the market for a little while now, and we build that, that, uh, that payload in collaboration with Yellowscan. And it's been a, an extremely, extremely great camera for us, or payload, I should say. Uh, this was one of the first VTOL solutions that we were able to carry a, a serious you know, survey grade LiDAR. Uh, and to have that product on the market in such a way, you know, being able to fly for as much as 60 minutes and with the huge area coverage that it could do was really game changing. We wanted to take that further and that's how the Cube 640 came about. Again, in collaboration with Yellowscan, as they were building out their new generation's LiDARs, we were able to partner with them once again to bring out the Cube 640. And this is an extension of the 240 or an improvement. It takes up to 640,000 points per second uh, and it's able to do that at an even higher quality and grade than we were able to get out of the Cube 240 as well. It has onboard RGB camera as well, which means that we can also do colorization in the same flight uh, as opposed to how in the past we would have to do maybe one LiDAR flight and then an RGB capture separate to do colorization. So it's a, a more powerful system, it's a more capable LiDAR as well, uh, and the integration, the deep integration with the Trinity platform has enabled us to, to make a really great uh, payload in terms of workflow and in terms of capabilities. So exactly that, that point, right? We, we have this deep integration with the autopilot and we've been working very closely with Yellowscan over the years. So on a technical level, what that means is that we have direct camera, well, direct payload control of the Cube 640 at all times. We can change settings on the fly, we can see everything about how the payload is working, we can start and stop the, 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 the capture at any given moment. So all of these can be streamlined into an automated workflow. You don't have to press any buttons, you don't have to connect any cables, you don't have to do any of these things. Everything gets managed automatically and directly on the drone itself. As well as that, you know, Yellowscan and Quantum Systems have been working together for, for many, many years. And this has built, a, honestly, a friendship between the two companies. We have a really strong collaboration on the technical side, but also on the workflow, well, the, the, the way that we interact with each other in terms of support and how we're able to work together to target a market and to really drive you know, the best technology for that space. So it's been a, a very strong collaboration across not only the technical, but also the business side, uh, which has been part of the, the, the real key to our success. So we see a pretty wide range of different applications, to be honest, but if I had to highlight a couple of them, you know, a lot of the conversations that we're having at the moment are around things like power line management, whether that be sag detection or vegetation encroachment or just general mapping of the, of the corridor. Uh, so this is something that we see as a really key application for a LiDAR-based uh, solution because you can't really do this with photogrammetry. As well as that, the other side is, of course, we see a lot of general topographic survey uh, where they're dealing with areas where there might be vegetation and, you know, they want to get, uh, they want to get an, actual, uh, um, an actual terrain model. So that's probably the other main application that we see a lot of as well.